Undefeated in the building, BMF in the building, never lost a round, never lost a minute, never lost a second in the building. T Dog in the building, man. Look, I'm gonna skip, I'm not even gonna go into my intro with none of that shit, right? Look, I'm here with y'all with a, a defense tutorial, a submission defense tutorial like that. You know what I'm saying? I got y'all a banger. Look, man, since they T Dog in the building, look, I'm gonna make it real quick and easy. But first, all I ask is, man, drop a like, and if you do, man, drop a subscription. I'm a little congested right now, I'm kind of sick, but uh, fuck it, man. We go, we go, we go thug through it regardless, man. Let's get it, man. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the regular submission, as in the regular choke submission defense. I say regular because it's not exactly overpowered. We're going to get into like an overpowered one pretty soon. But right now I'm just going to show you my friend denying my back sitting transition, and he's going to lock in an arm triangle. Now look, man, Sensei t Dogs would help y'all out, bro. Look, if you get put into a submission, right, or you're attacking a submission, think about this, man. If you're in the red corner, which is the left corner, you're always going to start at the top left in the choke submission or the left in a joint submission. If you're in the blue corner or the right corner, you're always going to start at the top right in the submission or the right side of a joint submission. So it, it just it depends on whatever corner you're in, but it never depends on if you're defending or attacking. Always the same, right? So keep that in mind when you watch the submission defense. So a little pro tip here. Don't ever, if you're in the, let's say if you're in the red corner, right? Don't ever go directly up and to the right in a choke submission or like dart to the right at the very beginning of a joint submission because you're gonna go right to them and it's gonna make it easier. You know what I mean? Same thing if you're in the blue corner, don't go up to the left because you're gonna write right into them if they know what they're doing and they go that way. You know what I mean? So that's just a little pro tip right there for you guys. So let's get into this breakdown of what I'm doing. All right, peep this right here. Where do you see me at right now? I'm the red corner. I'm at the bottom left going to the right instead of going up to the top. You see what I'm, and he went up to the top right there and I was able to catch him. Slow it down for you guys, but literally the secret to getting out of submissions go slow be unpredictable then go fast literally switch pace you want to stop at some points like right there it's just stopped right you want to stop you want to you want to switch the way you're going you want to go really slow then you can go really fast when they pick up on you stopping and they guess when you're going to stop you start moving you know what i mean it's just it's push and pull with the submission defense game and i've gotten on a lot of broken submissions like that i'm super hard to tap out in this game whether it be off a of guillotine or a grenade choke now look man everybody gets tapped out bro whether it's off a of guillotine a rear naked choke maybe even a regular submission but i'm telling you if you use this strategy right here this will greatly immensely decrease the chance of you getting submitted off of a definitely a regular submission you almost never get submitted or a broken one this will help you get out of broken submissions for sure and when it comes to a regular legitimate one where it's not super hard to get out of you're almost com completely untappable i'm just going to be real with you guys all right next i'm going to show you guys how to get out of a joint submission I couldn't think of the most popular or like most commonly used joint submission besides an armbar off top mount or maybe a Kimura off the bottom off a denial or something. So I'm going to show you guys the armbar off top mount off of a denial. So he's going to go to top mount. I'm going to get denied my up transition. He's going to shoot for an armbar. And directly after that, I'm going to show you guys how to get out of the broken rear naked choke, the uh, one off back mount. I'm going to show you guys that one. So stay tuned. All right. Now, keep in mind with the advanced submission artist, someone that's really good at tapping people out. These are most likely going to be their go-to unless it's a broken submission because these are easier to get. So with that being said, let's get right to the defense. All right, y'all now. Peep game. Real quick. You talking to the best EA Sports UFC player to ever, to ever live. Look, man. With this, you're going to take your R2 and your L2 and you're going to lightly feather it. Think about, think about how you touched the the first time you touched a girl's butt in like middle school or something, right? You weren't very confident with it. So, you know, you, you just you just feathered it. You know what I'm saying? You gave it a light little, light little slap. You know what I'm saying, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all want to feather your R2 and your L2 and you want to stick in the corners, right? Don't jam your R2 and L2 down. That makes your bar bigger, makes it easier. But most attackers will stay in the middle and they'll like gradually go to the left or to the right, right? And they'll try to catch you going there. You want to want to stay in the corners until they force you out of the corner. When they force you out of the corner, mix up which way you're going to go. Go right, go left, go left corner, go right, go back to left corner, you know, go right, go left corner, go right corner. You know what I mean? Like just keep, just make sure to feather, like I say, touch your first time touching a girl's butt. That's how you want to touch your R2 and your L2. You feel me, right? And this will get you out of most joint submissions. Keep in mind, these are easier to get. They're harder to get out of. But as you see right there, the God, the Sensei is able to get out of the submission. Now keep in mind who I'm using, folks. I'm using Conor McGregor, right? I was able to get out of that arm triangle. I just got out of the arm bar. And we keep in mind, these are all off the Niles, right? So my stamina, I'm at a stamina disadvantage, right? I'm using Conor McGregor. He, he does not have good submission defense. You guys know this, right? Well, most of you guys do. So that should that show you guys that this submission defense works, man. You just got to trust the process, trust the sauce, go into the practice mode, or get yourself a friend to, you know, to drill it with. Now, we're going to get directly into what y'all want to see, some of the, the broken submissions. So I'm going to show you guys the rear naked choke off of back mount. Keep in mind, I'm Conor McGregor, so... I'm not a, I don't have good submission defense stats and most of the time I'm at a stamina disadvantage. 
Before we get onto that, though, the part you, you've all been waiting for, hit that like button. A lot of y'all be forgetting to hit the like button, and it really helps out a lot. And secondly, man, subscribe, bro. If you guys made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? You're, just, you're basically robbing me. Come on, man, subscribe. Let's, let's get straight into this, man. Let's go. Now you guys see it, man. He got Sensei T-Dog in a bad position. I'm going to show y'all one of the broken ones, right? I want to say, I actually think this one should be as powerful as it is, to be honest. But the other one that's super easy to get to, uh, the, the backstory and Neko Choke should not be this broken. Anyways, first step to be getting out of this mission right here is don't get denied. So look, I, I did the first step. I didn't get denied. He just went straight for it. Now, like, notice how I'm showing you guys the one where he's just, like, on my back. He's not got me in back flat. You know, you know what I mean? That's because you don't want to be in this situation. The second step to getting out of these type of broken submissions is don't be in the situation. Now I know it's easier said than done with the back sitting, but when it comes to this, don't let them get your back. Don't don't let them back flat you, and the, are you're just asking for them to finish you. If you apply the same submission defense tips, you will you have a higher chance of getting out if they back back flat you. But it's it's super hard. Keep in mind, same rule applies. I'm in the red corner. I'm gonna go to the bottom left. Even if he guesses right, it's still gonna give me more time to escape than it would if I went the opposite way. And if I'm in the blue corner, I'm gonna go to the bottom left if I'm de defending, right? You're gonna go to the opposite way, which should take longer for them to touch you, even if they guess right. So same submission defense applies there, as you see, I'm going slow. You might, it might be hard to tell I'm going slow because of the time or whatever. Look at the distance I'm keeping between us, right? So I'm going slow and when he gets close, I like move a little bit, but then I'll stop and let him go right past me and then I'll go the opposite way. Or I'll stop and then he'll, he'll think I'll go the opposite way the next time and I'll keep going the same way. You see what I mean? It's all about tricking your opponent, maintaining space. Keep in mind, I'm Conor McGregor and I get out of the submission with ease, right? He's Tony Ferguson, right? Look at this. Let's keep the same thing going, go in a circular motion. And also, I forgot to mention, go in a circle sometimes. Sometimes it's best to go in a circle. Once you stop and you keep doing that, they're gonna expect you to stop and they're gonna expect you to go, you know, switch directions. Keep going in a regular circle. And there you go, man. That's how you get out of submissions in this game, man. It's pretty easy, straightforward. Keep in mind, some submissions are broken. You're not gonna be able to get out of them because that's just how this game is. Don't blame me, man. But this just watching this video just greatly increase your chances getting out of broken submissions and submissions in general man so if you haven't already man please click that subscribe button man because i feel like shit right now but i still you know dug through it and made this video i appreciate every single last one of y'all man y'all comment like subscribe share the video all that good stuff man peace